Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jade. My whole objective of this channel is just to share tips of health and lifestyle and beauty and just so that I'm sharing my journey with you guys and hopefully you can take some things here and there so that it best suits your lifestyle, um, whatever that means for you. So without further ado, today's video is all about all natural, budget-friendly health and beauty hacks, basically. Um, so these are things I've been using very consistently for a long, long time now. I just wanted to share that when it comes to health and beauty, it doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be hard, it doesn't have to be um, complicated. Um, the more you educate yourself, the more you can figure out things that works best for your lifestyle and fits your budget. So if you have a bigger budget, great. If you don't, so then that's fine too. And I'm here just to share things that I've found um, that's worked for me. Let's start with things I've already kind of shared in various videos that may have gotten lost. The first is um, a soap bar. This is a great hack for those of you who are looking for a brow gel. Yes, this is actually better than brow gel. You can look up videos and a lot of people will say the same thing. Um, I actually talked about this in one of my very first videos. It might have been my first video, but um, I'll link it right here and in the description box. Here, here. <laughs> and um, basically, what you want to do is get a clear soap bar. I know this looks kind of orangey, but it just has an orange tint to it. Um, but it pretty much goes on clear, and if you can find a clear one, that's even better. This is the Whole Foods 365 brand. I think this is about $3 or so, and it has uh, vitamin E in it. So all you do is get a soap bar and one of these um, brushes. It's kind of like a mascara wand. And I got a pack of these from Amazon. You can either wet this with a bottle spray thing or you can run it under the sink. And once it's wet, you just run it across the bar soap and then brush your hairs and it will stay in place. I have pretty bushy eyebrows and these keep my brows in place and shape them a lot better than regular brow gel. And it's all natural, so. And instead of spending, you know, $20, $30 on a brow gel, um, this, I've been using it for, I don't know, two years now, and it's barely put a dent in it, and it cost me $3. So, there you have it. <laughs> Super easy. And then this, um, you can either buy on Amazon and get a giant pack of these, or you can just get an old mascara, and keep the wand part, and just reuse it after you clean it. So, yeah. Okay, the next one, I made a video, a whole video about it actually. I'll link that here too and in my description box. It was a video about the ancient Asian skincare secret. And if you are a nerd like me and you want to know all about how it works, the science behind it, and all that jazz, um, you can definitely watch it. This is basically just white rice flour. And I was very specific in my video about what kind of brand I use. Um, it's the Bob's Red Mill. You can definitely use another brand, but you don't want it too fine and you don't want it too coarse. Um, I also talk about how often you can use it and things like that. But this is an all-natural skin exfoliator. It's really great if you have scarring. It will lighten the scars. Um, and honestly, I got a whole giant bag for like 6 bucks or something like that. Way cheaper than buying an exfoliator. And um, it's one ingredient, all-natural. I just put it in a old spice jar and then just sprinkle it in my hands, rub my wet hands together, and massage onto my face. I haven't bought exfoliator in years. I've just been using this and it clears out everything. Um, there was a period of time where I had really bad cystic acne, which has never happened before. And this basically got rid of it all. It was so bad, I was getting it under my neck, under my neck, I was getting it under my chin, under my jaw, um, some on my back. This works for your entire body. Um, and yeah, there's a whole history lesson if you want to get into that about ancient Asia using it. Um, even geishas use it. So, And if you look at um, Dermalogica or uh, Tatcha, this is the ingredient they use for their exfoliator. So instead of, you know, forking over so much money for those products, you can just get this one ingredient, natural, safe, works. Another product I've been loving is 
This is the Heritage Store Rose Petal Rose Water. Um, this is a all natural rose water. I love this brand. They make excellent products. This bottle, the eight ounce bottle, let me see how much it was. So the eight ounce bottle is about $9 in stores. If you have Thrive Market, which I've also made a video for, it is $6.29. So $9 if you're gonna get it anywhere else uh, for an eight ounce bottle. This is rose water. What's great about this is it's an all natural toner. So you can use this as toner after you wash your face. Um, you can use this whenever you feel dehydrated or you need to pick me up in your skin. Really great for um, post flights because your skin is so dehydrated. Uh, or in the summer when you just need a little touch up. You can also use this as a air freshener spray in the bathroom. Smells amazing, smells great. It doesn't smell like the artificial roses that you get in fragrance and things like that. So multiple uses for this one, I love it. Um, this bottle is also recyclable and it's eco-friendly and cruelty-free. If you are into the spiritual stuff, this water has been vortex and magnetized to raise the energy to a higher vibration that they believe to be more beneficial. So this is a really, really great one, very budget-friendly. You don't need to spend a lot of money on toner and stuff. All natural, simple, save money, <coughs> boom. Now they do have another product called the Rose Water and Glycerin Spray. This is $10.50 for 8 ounces, but on Thrive it's $7.29. And this has been dubbed a, what's the word? A mock? A copy? A, uh, I don't know what the word is. This has been dubbed in the natural beauty world as the all natural form of MAC Fix Plus. I'm just saying. Because it has glycerin, it actually helps set your makeup. So if you are a fan of MAC Fix Plus and um, you want something all natural that's very budget friendly um, and has clean ingredients but still as effective, this is your new go-to basically. It also is a great moisturizer. Oh, you can use it on your hair too. Huh. Also vegan. Everything here today is vegan, just so you guys know. Um, this bottle is also recyclable, so yay, eco-friendly. This is a really great replacement for the MAC Fix Plus. Highly recommend. Now, the last thing I have for you guys is also from the Heritage Store. It's the Palma Christi Castor Oil, um, hexane free. And this is Pure Cold Press Castor Oil. Um, castor oil is really great for hair growth. A little story time, a little backstory. Um, when I was in high school, my best friend at the time was dating a girl who was learning how to thread eyebrows. Was she legally trained or licensed? No. But she wanted to practice on me and um, she said her mom taught her and yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll get my brows threaded. Um, at the time, thinner eyebrows were in, and I thought I was being a good friend, um, and I kept getting made fun of for my thick, for my naturally thick brows, so I agreed. She did it twice in my life, and I cried every time because it hurt so badly, and my brows were super, super thin, so when I wanted to regrow my brows, I looked up how to do it naturally and castor oil was the answer. So I actually grew my brows back to be the way it is right now. Um, I get a ton of questions from people, even strangers, actually more so from strangers, about my brows and what I did to have them be like this. Um, of course, it's a number of things like nutrition and all that stuff, but this has been the number one solution for my brows. If I can find a photo for you guys, I'll show it here. So I went from this to this. Right? Crazy. Anyways, this whole bottle is 16 fluid ounces and it costs about $11.50. Um, as you can, I mean, I have a lot still, like a lot, a lot. I stopped using it because my brows got wild. <laughs> um, but what I did was I went on Amazon and got these little I don't know if you guys can see these little containers where you can put like mascara or something in but it has a mascara wand and all can you guys see and basically I just filled it with castor oil 
And what I did every night was just brush my brows with it, even my eyelashes to help them grow. And it grew a lot and very fast. So yes, castor oil is one of the big secrets I have for my brows and it's helped me a lot. Now, wherever you apply castor oil is where the hair growth is going to happen. So if you have some bald spots on your hairline or whatnot, you can definitely rub some on and it will help with hair growth there too. You just have to be very consistent and patient because you know your hair can only grow so fast but this will definitely speed things up. The thing with castor oil is it can be drying. So I highly recommend you use a moisturizer over the areas that you apply castor oil. You can mix it um, in this bottle too if you want to do like a two-in-one thing. Um, oils that I recommend, uh, you can use avocado, um, coconut if you're not sensitive to coconut oil, um, olive oil works too, almond oil. So anything that's moisturizing will totally work. Ooh, the lighting just changed like crazy. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I hope you guys found this video really helpful. I've been wanting to make this video for a long, long, long time now. And um, I love sharing my secrets with you guys. I love sharing things I find and have been using that's worked. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. Follow me on Instagram and like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!